I've been interviewing a lot of people in the last couple of years and I've seen a lot of CVs. Most of them can be significantly improved, leave the impression you want, invite you into interview and even congratulate you for the good CV. I shared a post on LinkedIn a few weeks ago offering a free consultation and guidance. My idea was to help software engineers improve their CVs and at the same time to collect some CVs for this video. Now we are going to review, react and transform a couple of CVs. So let's do it. Your job application is a product. The main purpose of this product is to invite you to interview. Your CV is a big part of this product and the whole product matters. The better the product, the higher its price. Take for example HUAWEI and Apple. Better technical specifications in HUAWEI doesn't mean higher price. But when you see some Apple product, you know that it is expensive as hell, right? So, if you leave the impression of a high quality product, the expectation will be that your price is higher. Today we are going to use Enhanced CV Resume Builder because it is easy to use, saves you time and your CV looks perfect without any effort. This video is not paid and commercial, I just like the tool because it solves many of the issues with the CVs. I'm really happy because the guys from Enhanced CV are so nice, they gave me a code you can use. This code gives a free pro account for one month. This time is enough to build your best CV. So go to Enhanced CV, register, use the code and you'll get a free pro account for one month. Keep in mind that this code is valid only one week from now. Let's look at our first CV. When I see a European template, I want to kill myself, really. <laughs> it is so useless and it has so many problems in it. Look at this, all of these labels on the left side of the vertical line. Even though they are there to help me understand, I don't make any difference between, for example, the company, the business sector and the position, so I have to read what is it to understand? They're so useless and they filled up the space. I don't think anybody ever read these lines. Oh my God, there is driving license. Are you serious? Are you gonna write code while you are driving your BMW? Actually, it is good that the business sector of the company and used technologies for each row are mentioned, but it is a good idea to briefly explain what are your responsibilities for each role, what type of problems you solved, um, what you've achieved in this company and what, what type of features you're working on and things like that. But you have to be short because if you're too long nobody will read it. Technical skills here are placed on the bottom of the CV but actually in this case I want to see them after the experience because they are more important than your speaking languages or even, even the education in this case. Let's see the end result after transforming it in Enhanced CV. Actually it looks a lot a lot better. You have only the information you need, no uh, useless labels, useless text, a lot of pages, just one page. Uh, I don't have all the information to fill up everything. I think it is good to be filled, but the owner of this CV can add the missing details. First, let's take a quick look. The formatting and styling is not very good. Um, some of the, their information that they're missing in the experience section. Uh, the order is not the right. So let's start with the summary. Summary, uh, very ambitious and quick learner software engineer with programming and architectural skills, very good knowledge in application development, blah, 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 blah. 
writing testable efficient code by using best software development practices in my free time you can catch me writing blog blogs <laughs> guys can you see are you actually introducing yourself like this when you talk with somebody try to be honest what do you think when you read this the summary has to be short and has to answer several questions uh, why you want to to work in this company or what do you like in this company and what value can you give to this company what problems you can solve so it has to be short and not to repeat the information in the cv for example i know this and this i know this and this i am best at this and this it's it's awkward to be to, to read it the order of this cv has to be first summary then experience because your experience is most more important than computer skills then courses because uh, you have a lot of courses from Telerik Academy, Pluralsight and Udemy, they are more important than your formal education. Um, skills after the, after the courses and trainings, then education and on the last place your blog posts. Your projects developed which is just a link can be put on the top on the con in the contact information. The order is important be because you want to focus the attention on the most important information about you. Because not all of the times the, the people that are reading these CVs will read everything in your CV. Computer skills are separated to several categories. Programming languages, software technologies, other computer skills. Just put them in one category, don't separate them and... Uh, write them one after another in one row or several rows. In the experience we can see that there is only job title, company and period. It is good to be mentioned what type of product you're working on from business perspective. Also, uh, what are you working on? For example, you can mention features, what are your responsibilities and, and things like this. Uh, when you do this, it will give enough information to the interviewer. You can see how I converted this CV. Also, you can see how much time it took me. You can add different sections for everything you need. Experience, skills, education, certificates and, and on and on. Uh, and the end result is this. It's pretty good. It looks a lot, a lot better. And actually, I had more information from the person and I filled up the description for all of the positions that he has been. The last CV we are going to look today actually looks good. There is a good description of each row in the experience. Um, two side projects with brief description. This is very good because it shows passion and dedication. Doing projects out of work. Um, I like and can bring section, but actually in this case uh, it's not very good because most of the things inside repeats the technical skills. For example, uh, Kafka is already up there, jQuery, JavaScript, HTML, Scrum, Kanban, everything is on the top and each one is great skills, good knowledge, experience building, excellent skills, experience in developing. In this case, I, I would remove it or in this section you can put what value you can provide other than your technical skills. For example, if you've been a mentor to somebody or if you've led some project or team, if you've improved the process or solved some business problem and so on. About the ordering of the sections, in most cases the best idea is to put your experience first. Here we have good project sections. I would put them on a second place after the experience, then technical skills. And this I can bring section can be transformed into short summary, for example on the top. Otherwise I would remove it.
and you can see the end result of this CV after transforming it in enhanced CV. Everything is in one page and it is short and good ordered. Don't forget to go to Enhanced CV, register, use the code and get a free pro account for one month. You can build your best CV for this one month. And don't forget that the code is valid only a week from now. Hey you, are you still here? If you like what I do, please help me with subscribe, share, like, write me a comment what do you think or tell me what do you want to discuss next time.